Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it is my joy to visit with you again. Sunday is Valentine's Day. I want to think about that with you for a few minutes. I want to ground our thoughts today with some of the most familiar words that are written about love, found in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. And we're going to look just in verses 4, 5, and 6. We read these words. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. When I think about those words, I think the best way that I can embellish or share with you today is to tell you some love and love stories um, from my own life to share with you how I have seen these words uh, embodied how folks have loved me and and shown me how these words are supposed to be lived out so let me share with you um, three examples uh, from my own life I truly believe uh, that this statement is true. Behind every good man is a great woman. God really has blessed me uh, with a wonderful wife for the past 32 years. Dee is such a patient person. And one of the things that she's helped me do is to adopt a new lifestyle. Um, we eat healthy and we exercise daily. But it was her example, her encouragement that has helped me to do that. Another thing that I've seen her do is I see that through her card ministry, how she reaches out to others. Uh, She's helped me to uh, be more uh, encouraging and supportive of others through her example. Before COVID, nobody got by D without getting a hug. And she's taught me how to be more outgoing in my ministry. But you know, every day she is patient with me, even if she is tired. He only has kind words for others. And she seems to have a knack for bringing out the best in others. She expresses her love best, not in words, but in her deeds and loving attitude that shines brightly each day. He has taught me a lot about love. I see love in a different way that's lived out in my parents and between my Aunt Dawn and Uncle Dick as they care for each other and as time is whittling away at memory and abilities. But yet their mature love still continues to teach others. I see in them a dedication to one another as they have great patience for each other. There's also a quiet contentment with each other. They know how to finish each other's senses, and they know what the other one wants before they even ask. Their love is mutual and kind. I also lift up my Aunt Dawn and Uncle Dick because right now they're separated because Uncle Dick's health isn't well. And yet I see how their love is helping them through these challenging times. My parents, Aunt Dawn, Uncle Dick, their love is a different kind of love as they mature uh, in years. But it has much to teach us as I watch them and learn from them. And then my last story, it's a different kind of love that I see in our daughter and son-in-law, Ann and Rick, as they foster two children. In them, I see their patience, kindness, and total unselfishness as they extend their home and love to these two children. Their love has won the children's trust, and now these children freely return that love to Anne and Rick. Anne and Rick had five children of their own, but they didn't hesitate to expand that circle of love, and it's been amazing to watch the progress of these children. I wanted to share these stories today because they're some of my love stories. Love that transforms lives from 5 to 91 years old and keeps on going. 
Each story is unique and a lesson for us to follow. I thank God for these examples of love in my life, from my wife, parents, and an uncle, and even my daughter, as they've shown me how to love others. I want to challenge you to do two things as we approach Valentine's Day. Share your stories of the folks in your life who have loved well and touched your life in some way. And if it's possible, thank God those persons for their example and tell them how much you love them too. Then love others just as you have been loved. Amen. I have several announcements about Wesley Church and some upcoming activities uh, in the community. Uh, we are again collecting items for do-over ministry for February. We are especially this month focusing on socks and gloves during this cold weather. We still need other items, including coats, sleeping bags, hats, scarves, boots, backpack, flashlights, and batteries, double A and triple A. Now, we need your donations by uh, next Tuesday. Um, know that they're greatly appreciated and needed, and then they'll be delivered on Wednesday, February 17th. Uh, I am really excited about this next announcement. We are planning for Vacation Bible School for July 18th through the 22nd. Uh, we're planning for this to be in person, and we're going to have our first meeting by Zoom on Thursday, February 18th at 6.30 p.m. If you would like to help and, be, uh, and attend our meeting, please contact Amy Whitworth, and she'll send you an invite. Wesley Preschool is now enrolling students for the 2021-2022 school year. Classes uh, are available for children ages one and a half through pre-kindergarten. And they're designed to meet the needs of a child during each stage of their formative years. For more information or an application, contact the church office or go to our website at www.wesleyum.org forward slash preschool. We continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday at 9 a.m. on both Facebook and YouTube. Well, let's close our time with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for loving each of us and sending us your Son to show us the way of love. Help us to love others just as we have been loved by you and by others. Help us to be living love letters for others to follow. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.